Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do some color blocking with your SureFit Designs patterns. And you know, when I think of color blocking, it takes me back to the 1960s when Yves Saint Laurent popularized the Mondrian dresses. And where did he get his inspiration from? Well, he got it from a Dutch artist by the name of Piet Mondrian. And what Piet did was painted large canvases and then did rectangles within the canvases and the rectangles were usually outlined with thick black and then he used uh, primary colors to fill some of the rectangles. And he was actually one of the principal members of the neoplasticism art movement. And so that's where Yves Saint Laurent got his inspiration from. Well, then we saw a lot of um, horizontal and vertical lines. Today we're seeing a lot of diagonal lines, which I actually prefer. I'm not exactly keen on putting a horizontal line right across the top of the bust line because for anybody who is relatively full busted, that's just going to emphasize that area. So how are you going to decide where you're going to put your design lines? Well, I would invite you to go to either of our websites, surefitdesigns.com or the Surefit Designs Learning Center. And if you go to free stuff, there you're going to find a perfectly proportioned uh, croquis. And I call her Sally Silhouette. And if you haven't already got it, just hop on over and, and get them because they are available there for you. They're free and they're in a PDF format. And when you get this perfectly formed silhouette, then what you can do is start playing with it and putting on the design lines that you think you might like to have on your particular garment. I've done a couple of different tops here and I have used some vertical and horizontal lines in one of them, but I do tend to really like the diagonal lines. And so, you know, just play around with them, see what you think is going to be most suitable for your particular body shape and for whatever fabric you have. So take a look in your stash of fabric and see what you've got. And if you need to go out and buy it, well, it's certainly not the end of the world. Here's a beautiful combination of the turquoise with blue and solid blue. And then here's another combination that would work really well for color blocking with the maroon and the um, patterned piece has navy, maroon, and pink in it. So with that in mind, now we're going to take a look at how we will work with the patterns. All right, now I'm going to show you how to color block for a t-shirt, much like what I am wearing. And what I'm going to be using is the SureFit Designs dress kit. And here I have it drawn out over on the side wall. You'll notice that I've put the skirt portion of the top of the skirt and attached it to the bodice uh, pattern. The reason that I've done that is so that I get the correct hip width for the t-shirt. Some of you can be very small in the, in the top and then uh, get wider down in your hip line and you always want to make sure that your t-shirt or any garment for that matter is going to fit you in the hip line and that's the reason for putting your skirt attached to the bodice. You'll notice these waist fitting darts here. For the t-shirt you're just going to forget that they're there because they become fullness at the waistline. This bust fitting dart though, if you're a very large busted person, I am going to recommend that you leave it in, even for a t-shirt, even though I know it's being sewn out of a knit fabric, it's always going to give you a better fit. However, if you would like to experiment with taking the dart out of, excuse me, out of the dress kit pattern, then I'm going to refer you to an article that's called T-Shirt Tactics and where you're going to find that is in the SureFit Designs Learning Center in the article library and it will show you how to remove the dart um, on the front of the bodice. Then because I am going to be doing some diagonal lines what I do recommend that you do is draw out both a right side and a left side of the pattern and then join them together in the center. And now remember you played with Sally Silhouette and you decided where you wanted your lines to go and so I have actually penciled in a couple of diagonal lines which is actually what I used on this t-shirt that I'm wearing. So I will just draw these in blue so that you can see the lines that I established for this particular t-shirt 
and they look like this. Now, you are going to be cutting apart on those lines, but in order to help you sew it all together, you want to make sure that you put some X's on these dividing lines so that it'll help you sew this back together when you uh, stitch these pieces together. So those X's are going to become matching notches. And notice that I put these ones further apart, these ones closer together, again, so that I don't get confused about which ones are going to join to which pattern. So these are going to become the three segments of the front of the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Now we're going to pretend like I have baked the cake. And what you're going to do is cut apart on those dividing lines, which I have done right here. And there is one other thing that I should mention to you. When I'm doing the designing, I generally always design on a pattern without seam allowances. And the reason that you don't want any seam allowances there is because you don't want them interrupting what you're doing and trying to remember, do I have seam allowances or don't I? Because when you cut this apart, obviously that line isn't going to have any seam allowances on it. So if you design without seam allowances, then once you've cut it apart, then what you need to do is add seam allowances. So the blue line here is the actual piece, the pattern piece, and then the red line that's going around on each of them, that is indicating the uh, seam allowances that have been added so that you can sew it together, obviously, without losing any of the uh, length or depth of the fabric. And of course, these X's have become the matching notches, and for the hemline, I have added on a one and a half inch hem allowance at the bottom. So when you're sewing this together now, you're going to sew and create the front into a unified whole. So these two segments will be sewn together first. Notice something else that I've done on the patterns is I've labeled them really, really clearly. I've said, this is piece number one, and I'm going to cut one right side up. Piece number two, again, cut one right side up, and piece number three, cut one right side up. The more indications you can give yourself on your pattern piece um, to help you sew it together, the easier it's all going to go together, and then you won't get confused of what, what pieces go together. The other thing that I did on these patterns is that I made sure that I transferred over the grain line. And yes, center front um, is obviously a good reference point and I, there is a grain line there but I also added one more grain line over on this side and I'll just draw it in blue here. Um, let me put the ruler this way so that I line it up exactly on the line that I used. There we go. And I should have drawn this in right at the beginning but you'll get the idea. And the reason that I did that is so that I could continue this particular grain line up into this larger segment of the pattern. If I'd have taken this grain line up here, I didn't have a lot of pattern piece there for the grain line to actually show. So that's why my grain lines are in different places, but you just want to make sure that it's there so that it's going to help you to line it all up together. And of course, um, establish the appropriate layout. Now, talking about the sleeve is the next pattern piece here. When you do sleeves, you obviously can make just a straight um, sleeve like I have done out of all of one color here. And on the side of this, I've actually done some pretty little shearing. Um, but if you want to do a color blocked sleeve as well, you certainly can, which is what I've done on this particular t-shirt. So as we look over here at the sleeve pattern, um, I'm just going to unpin here and talk about this. This is your entire sleeve pattern. And then I just decided where I wanted the uh, design line to go. And I drew that. And of course, then as I cut open on that line, this is what the two separate pieces would look like is this then once it was cut open, I had to add seam allowances and a hem allowance on the bottom piece 
and seam allowances all the way around the top. So it makes it really easy to identify again the top of the sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve, and of course it's now got the seam allowances on it. You'll notice with the uh, fabric that I've used for these two t-shirts that not only did I make the diagonal lines and worked with the uh, red and black stripe and solid black fabric, but I also took the stripe fabric and then played with the grain line. And here I had the grain line forming a chevron. It wasn't the grain line, it was the stripes that are forming the chevron right here. And what I did on the pattern for this particular one, I don't have it drawn out here, but what I did was I actually laid the tracing vellum over top of the fabric. I drew exactly the thickness of the black stripe and the red stripe on both of these pattern pieces so that when I laid uh, and did my fabric layout, I was able to get that stripe running right in exactly the way I wanted it. So it was black to black and red to red all the way down. And uh, that was kind of a fun one to do as well. So there are just a few ideas for you for color blocking. Can you believe this is just a t-shirt? And I like the way it looks on me. And you know what? Yours is going to look great on you too. And the reason is with SureFit Designs, you're going to blueprint your body shape and size. And what does that mean? It means it's going to fit your unique body. And another benefit of this color blocking project is that it is a made in a day project. It really can be designed, drawn, and sewn up all in one day. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would really encourage you to join the SureFit Designs community. And how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. Number one, go on over to surefitdesigns.com and sign up for the newsletter list. There you're going to receive email updates as well as free gifts to get you started. Number two, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, SureFit Designs. And number three, below there is a like button. Just go ahead and click that if you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later with more informational and educational videos by SureFit Designs.